This is the end. I can't believe it. It's time for us to go. We put so much heart and soul into this, and to walk away now, you know, kind of feels a little sad, but at the same time, I feel so fulfilled and like, I can't believe we accomplished this. We freaking did it. For the past six months, you guys have seen us in this building, but it's really been almost two years that it's taken for us to get this place like this, to get it looking like this. And even in the background of all of our videos, even if we haven't been talking about it in the video, this place has been on our mind. It's been in the back of our mind. Getting it to get open and getting to a spot where we can walk away. And now the moment to walk away is right now. It's time for us to go. It's time for, it's time for us to leave. It's time for us to go back to Panama. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> You want to go back to the other side? Cut, cut it a little bit more. Stop! We hooked up our home to our truck and we're ready to just pull it out of here, which is such a crazy feeling, but we gotta get this Airstream out of Vermont and we gotta get somewhere that is not gonna be as exposed to the winter conditions when we're gone. We drove four hours, it's pretty late, and uh, we came back down to Massachusetts, but we're up on the North Shore, close to the ocean, where uh, it's a little bit warmer over here. It's 30 degrees up in Stowe and it's 40 here. We're leaving our home right here, nice and safe and sound. Gotta go right to the airport. E7. Sadie's biggest struggle right now is sitting still. We got a six hour flight ahead of us. <sighs> wish, us wish us luck. <laughs> It's not going too bad. I feel pretty proud of ourselves. It's been, what, three hours now? And we've only done maybe 20 minutes of screen time. That, that's not bad. All right, here we go. We're coming in for landing. Hey, baby, it's hot. This connection is always a little bit tight. Okay, but this time with a baby and a dog, it's gonna be even closer. Doing all the paperwork for Lola now. 15 minutes till our flight leaves. Um, and I'm sweating it a little bit. I'm so close. Oh, it's tight. We're so really close, but I think we're gonna make it. We were the last ones on the plane. 3.32 and the plane leaves in seven minutes. I can't believe we did it. <laughs> if you are seated near an emergency exit, please read the following information.
I told you we were gonna bring Lola back. You better, yeah. I told you we'd bring her back. Let's go, you guys. Let's go, baby. Oh, it feels so good to be back right now. So we got the squad back together. Dude. Back, back. Let's get out of here and get back to Lola's farm. Don't turn around. I think it's safe to say Sadie is finally getting all of her energy out now. We just came to grab a quick little bite in David. Much needed meal, an actual meal. I feel like we've just been eating dried mango and crackers all day. <laughs> but man, you guys, it feels so, so good to be back. I feel like I say this every single time, but each time just feels a little bit different, a little bit more like home every time we come back to this place. Obviously, the people are what make that, that feeling, but <sighs> I'm so, it feels so right right now. It feels so right right now. Is there something here? Huh? Is there gonna be like a pony here or something? What happened last time that you came up? I'm telling you, it's a lizard. It's an iguana. Uh, Rodrigo, there better not be an animal on this, a new animal on this farm this time. Right, let me tell you. It's a lizard. Why <laughs> not? Uh, if there is there is there a, is there gonna be a is there gonna if be a pony? If there's one, if there's another Mumu, if there's an if there's if you got Mumu a friend, I would not be mad. What about a pony? <laughs> no, I'd be he very got happy. He, he got a boyfriend for Mumu. I'm terrified. Right. I'm terrified, Rodrigo. <laughs> it's gonna you're, be all you're right. You're capable of wild things. <laughs> oh, check this oh, out. Look at this view, man. Let's go. Look at this Let's go. Man. Hi, puppies. Well, your friends are here. <laughs> she just wants to go and see Moo, dude. Moo, Moo. Where's my, where's my cow? We'll go see Moo in the morning. Yeah. What animals did you get, Rodrigo? Yay. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> you did it, bro. Ooh, it's nice. chilly. Oh. Oh. Oh, it, <laughs> we'll be here for a long time now. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> We're home, baby. We're home, baby. I know it's time for bed. What do you think about going upstairs? We're gonna go in the <laughs> You wanna go in the bed? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Two, three. Everybody. <laughs> Chomp, chomp, chomp. Are you actually chomping? <laughs> Sade's passed out. <laughs> Lola is just so happy. All the puppies are laying on the couch outside on the patio. It's so cute. Are they? Yes. Oh <laughs> it's so sweet. I think it's safe to say we're, we're in just, heaven. We're just in heaven right now. <laughs> we're in heaven right now. It is the best time of the year here. I can't wait to get out tomorrow morning and just get the feel of the land. Officially in dry season, windy season is here. Do you want to know when it's going to feel like heaven? What? Watching sunrise tomorrow. This officially marks the end of a chapter and the start of a new one. But before we wrap up the end of the roastery chapter, we have a little announcement. So in honor of opening the roastery, we wanted to do something a little bit different that we've never really done before. We have never sold merch or t-shirts in the five year history of this channel. But I feel like right now is the time to do it. Mm -hmm. These are the shirts that we wear in the roastery every single day and we just put them up for sale on our website. I think the best part of these shirts is the back. This is an art piece done by a local artist named Denise. She actually lives right down the road from us. She's amazing, she's so talented. And it tells the whole story of the coffee from us on Lola's farm to it getting into Arturo's hands, to the trip it takes to the United States, to getting to the roastery, getting roasted up, and getting brewed and served or shipped out to whoever wants them. And one of the things that we're most excited about is we didn't just hire any massive t-shirt printing company. We hired a small local print company out of Vermont, out of Burlington, Vermont, that's making all of these shirts by hand, just like our coffee is. 
So this will not only be supporting us, our channel, and our team, but also be supporting other small businesses, which is what we really want to accomplish. So if you guys are interested in rocking one of these shirts, you can click the link in our description box below. We do have a limited amount, so we do expect them to kind of go fast. But now that the roastery's done, that we're not gonna be back there for a while, and that it's up and running, mm -hmm. it's time to close that chapter. It's time to get to work, baby. Let's get to work, baby. <laughs> Nothing but good news on the animal front. All of our animals are good, all of our animals are healthy. The only thing which is pretty exciting is one of our goats is pregnant. And we don't know exactly when she got pregnant, but we think she's about like two to three months from giving birth. Sade has officially, okay, maybe not. She's, she's, she's working on the jungle legs. The jungle legs are a little bit different than the Vermont legs. A little more terrain going on here. <laughs> she's telling him to come here. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Hey, baby! Hello, me Look at all the black coming through on her. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna be black and white, sweetie. Yeah. You are so beautiful, my love. I'm voting for cow number two. Honey, we have so many animals. <laughs> I think Moo Moo needs a friend. <laughs> so today is gonna be all about windows and i gotta tell you something sweet what? now that Rod rodrigo's got his windows going down there i'm thinking a lot of windows you're thinking more windows yeah because if you go and ask rodrigo how much his windows cost was it me how much do your windows cost just a thousand dollars a thousand dollars yes is that for the install and the materials and everything everything so it's like what how much for the glass like 600 bucks 644 dollars for the glass 640 look how much glass he has look at all this he has like 10 windows up there. He's got about half of his windows in, you can see all these, but for all that glass, like in the States, I don't even wanna know how much that would cost. So the original plan was just to have windows on the very tippy top, but now, I'm thinking we do all of it. We're going big, baby. We're we'll do all, big. we'll do a glass house. We're doing a glass house? <laughs> all right, let's do a glass house. So now we decided we're gonna do this whole side glass, but the only problem is, we get 60 miles per hour winds here, so we cannot have just one solid piece of glass. So we're gonna have to cut it up into sections, kind of like Rodrigo did down there at his A-frame. And also, there's gonna be a bathtub right here. Oh yeah. And now, I know at this point, everyone on this farm has seen us naked because we shower right there. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we're not gonna put just a little bit of privacy to here. It's so funny how we work, like, wait, we can get windows for cheap? Make it all glass. <laughs> So the, the less place that we have to do, the better. So we need to start working on building the beams that the window framing is going to get screwed down to. Which means, it's time to build some caballos.
So we're going back and forth trying to decide if we want the smoked glass or the regular clear glass. See, I'm leaning towards smoked because Rodrigo has some left over, which means we could probably get a bunch done for free. But the thing is, the glass is so cheap. The glass is so much cheaper. The clear glass is so much cheaper. And I personally think the clear glass will look much, much better, especially when you're sitting in that bathtub and you're looking out the window, I feel like I want it to look exactly as it looks right now. No tint, no darkness, no smokiness to it. You want people to see your bare ass while you're showering? That's what you're <laughs> <laughs> it might be against the rules for us to keep making naked jokes while living in a community. People are gonna think that we're swingers. I mean, our community is essentially just us and Rodrigo at this point. I mean, there's like eight people on this farm right now all doing different stuff. I guess you're right, but I mean like people that actually like live here and live here. The people are coming, honey. If we build it, they'll come. <laughs> Especially if we have those crystal clear windows. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the wrong kind of people, sweet. <laughs> Glass house, baby. <laughs> Man, then we're gonna have so many windows in here. Check this out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten windows in one little bathroom that's only, I don't know, about 250 square feet. This is one of those things that just had to be done today so we can just keep this thing moving, keep us going in the right direction. We're still showering here. Our bathroom's in the jungle somewhere over there. So this is a big deal for us. This is a big life upgrade, getting this bathroom done. And today we got one step closer. It looks like, like the, like that big, big, like mucus that comes yeah. out of the door. She's gonna have a, she's having the baby right now. There's no way. She's having the baby right now. Oh my God. We were literally just about to put the goats away and she just started like, bye. Yeah. Non-stop for the last like 10 minutes. We are like, oh, she just wants to go home. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she's about to have a baby. Rodrigo! Dude, Alberta's giving birth. No way. Yeah. No way. <laughs> no way. Come on. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. I'm serious. Come on, say. <laughs> Taking me back, honey, to our birth experience when uh, mid mid labor and you just uh, didn't stop eating. I just didn't stop eating. She's just she's just continuing to eat her grass and you know priorities. Baby. <laughs> she's having a baby, honey. <laughs> she's coughing. <laughs> she's Classic. I was hungry. <laughs> This is literally the best way to give birth. If we, sunset. Look at this purple flower, it's just everywhere. If we have another one, honey. You wanna do it right here? Wait, what? Right fun, here, babe. Maybe, maybe I'll time it so that I can do a tandem birth with Alberta. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> All right, I might've went a little too far on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's out, it's out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Birth is incredible. This is so majestic. Oh, <laughs> it's amazing, dude. Yeah. Look at the baby. You see the baby go? You see the baby go? Give it a kiss. <laughs> I'm very happy to report that we had one baby go. It is a boy. And we did come up with a name. What's the name, sweetie? 
Jerry! <laughs> Jerry the Cone. <laughs> By the way, this is a shout out to you, Jerry. I know you're watching this. I'll be real with you guys, I would have preferred a girl because it's kind of hard to know what to do with a boy. If you ask a local around here, they'd say you eat the boys because when you have two, we already have two boys and it's like, I don't know, it's just another animal to manage and you kind of want all of the animals to have a purpose. So if it was a girl, we could have gotten milk out of them. If it's a boy, you get meat out of them. This is the end, but we're just getting started. Like, we are going to be smashing it on the construction of this bathroom every single day because I just took a cold shower outside and it was windy and it sucked. And we have a huge pile of laundry upstairs that I am just dying to be able to do <laughs> at home. We want this upgrade and we're gonna keep chugging away at it every day. Absolutely. Keep sharing it with you guys every week. So if you wanna keep following along, subscribe if you want. If you don't wanna, that's cool. <laughs> and if you guys are interested in rocking one of our brand new t-shirts to bring some support to us, to our roastery, to our coffee business, you can find it in the link below. You guys, this shirt <laughs> is the real deal. So you can click the link in the top of the description if you wanna grab one, but we're going to bed now. We love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.